Hello colleagues, uh, today we will be talking about uh, Mini Rex, Super Beacon and the Badge and the difference between them. Um, all of them are useful, all of them are used in some cases and let's discuss what are those cases. Now let's start with the Mini Rex. Mini Rex is mostly used as a receiving beacon in mobile devices, but not as a uh, or on its own, as a part of other products, like Batch, for example. Minerix is a single use, so it means that it can receive ultrasound, but it cannot transmit ultrasound like, uh, like Super Beacon, for example, does. Um, if it can receive ultrasound only, it means that it cannot, uh, let's say, build the map of beacons. It cannot uh, measure the distance or actively transmit the uh, ultrasound, so it cannot measure the distance to the, let's say, neighboring beacons. And it cannot be used, for example, as a mobile beacon in non inverse architecture, because the mobile beacon must emit ultrasound, and it cannot be used as a stationary beacon in inverse architecture, because in this architecture, the stationary beacons are emitting ultrasound. In other cases, it can be used. But uh, there's another element you need to take into account is the receiving diagram. So as you can see, the microphone is kind of inside. So in this microphone, it means that the ultrasound signal cannot come without attenuation from directions close to the horizon. Uh, and this is important to understand because the microphone has a diagram. So it means that it uh, receives perfectly into this direction, actually, actually even better than super beacon because this small antenna is kind of a tenu uh, you know, not attenuated, but focus and gives around uh, two to three times improvement compared to uh, reception from this direction to the super beacon. But at the same time, from the side, from there, let's say, if you, you, if you want to use it as their stationary beacon for the beginning. So it will receive from this direction with high attenuation. And at the same time, if there is a reflected signal from the front, it will try to receive it from the front and may be confused. So this is why Minirix is not recommended to be used as station beacons for non universe architecture uh, and in general as a station beacon, unless you know that your diagram, receiving diagram is around uh, 120 degrees or, or so. If you can do this and if you are using our uh, holder, then yes, you can point uh, to the right direction and then it's a, it's a very, very good uh, receiving beacon, but only in this, direct, uh, in this uh, case, so you understand what you do. Super beacon from this perspective is, uh, uh, is a better device and in general, uh, super beacon is the easiest and the most versatile. So when you don't know what to choose, choose super beacon. It's designed specifically in order to meet the majority of cases from the majority of customers. Why? No, because it's first of all dual use. It can transmit ultrasound and it can receive ultrasound. It has a wide 180 degrees diagram. But even this 180 degrees diagram doesn't mean that from this direction and from that direction the signal will become uh, and will come uh, equally strong. No, it will be stronger from front direction and when it's very, very close to, uh, to, uh, to the horizon, let's say 10 degrees or 20 degrees uh, to the horizon, the signal starts to degrade very quickly. And uh, zero degrees to the horizon, for example, when the beacons are placed on the wall, uh, it could be uh, pretty weak. Again, can be used in the majority of cases, but when you stretch it, let's say 30 meters, from between the beacons, then we do not recommend this way. We do recommend somewhat like this, which is usually the case, uh, but don't overstretch. So um, it's dual use. It has external antenna, which is better compared to mini rigs. Uh, why? No, because you know small antenna obviously has a worse performance than their uh, antenna, external one. Uh, for those cases when you want uh, even better performance, we recommend the full-size antenna. Full-size antenna obviously uh, emit better in radio uh, than their shorter antenna. No, but the obvious benefit is the smaller size. And this is the biggest benefit of Minirex as a smaller, smaller, smallest beacon when you really size does matter. Uh, since the size is small, so the battery is small, it's 500 uh, milliamp hour 
to 1000 milliamp hours. So roughly in the same conditions, it would work roughly uh, half of the time of uh, super beaker. Um, then let's talk about the batch. Because as I mentioned, MiniRx is a part of many devices like batch, like uh, helmet, like jacket. Uh, so as a part of this, it's a very, very good device. But, uh, you know, use it as a standalone device only when you clearly understand what you do. For example, we have watch as a device, which is good. But for the cases when, for example, you have uh, an assembly plant and you want uh, to track wrists, watch configuration, the mini rig configuration is not suitable to put in my chest pocket and use it. No, because my own body will completely block from the back. I may put many, many station beacons and I, uh, I can arrange, you know, nice tracking even for Mini RX. Uh, but remember the main rule. At any time, the mobile beacon must see the direct line of sight to or more station beacons within 30 meters. If I turn myself left, so that beacon will not be seen to my Mini RX anymore. Or if I make a mistake and if I put like this, so it's like closing years. So the beacon will not track. So this is why, if you know what you do, Mini-Rex can be used in some cases. But particularly for new customers, we do not recommend to use Mini-Rex for people tracking. Because it has many uh, restrictions, uh, which if you don't take into account, the performance will be very poor because it will be non-line of sight. And with non-line of sight, you will experience a lot of jumps and a lot of nasty things. No, our system is very, very precise if you follow uh, the requirements. So, but what to use when you want to track people? Oh, it's very simple. There's a badge. Let's compare badge to the Mini RX. First of all, badge is recommended for people tracking and it's probably the easiest for people tracking and let's say office-like environment or exhibitions or conferences. Again, less industrial. It could be used for industrial, but for industrial we have other solutions like helmet, cap, jacket. Um, so what is what is different? No, well, first of all, in uh, Mini RX you have only one receiving microphone. In uh, in badge, inside the lace, there are sensors. So two sensors around the neck. So it, and uh, these sensors, the microphones, are facing both directions. This and this. So it means that. Even if you put lace like this or like this, it will still hear at least uh, this or this or both. So there are four microphones. So it's very, very um, uh, kind of multiple input device. Um, then, unlike in MiniRx, there is embedded antenna. So there's antenna inside the lace. So it means that it's uh, nearly as good as this one, or in some cases, even nearly as good as this one, because there's a full-size antenna inside. Uh, it's slightly closer to the body, so not like this ideal. So it means that depending on how you wear it and how you to use it, it's comparable either with this or this, but certainly much, much better than, uh, than Mini RX with the tiny, tiny, small, um, tiny uh, embedded antenna. So uh, all the drawbacks of uh, Mini RX, uh, not here. External microphones, additional antenna. Okay, the battery is still small, but uh, usually it still lasts a few days, like two, three days, depending on the update rate, etc. So then you charge them as your typical phone every second day or something. Um, uh, you also need to clearly understand, because our system is a uh, high accuracy system, then the question is to which point. Like, like in you know, cameras, there is a focal point, there is a particular point from where you measure the distances, distance measurements, as well as in our case. So, um, Super Beacon receives the ultrasound to, to this microphone. So this is the central point for receiving. For Mini RX, this is the central point for receiving. So the, the points are very, very clear. It's not geometrical something, it's this exactly point so when you need, you know, millimeters. Uh, but batch, batch has spread microphones. So there's a pair of microphones on my left side of the neck and on my right side of the neck. So it means that when I'm walking around, either left or right will receive. So it means that there is uncertainty or ambiguity in terms of which one will receive. 
uh, the strongest signal the strongest you will receive. So it means that theoretically you have ambiguity in where am I? Okay, I, I'm I'm more than this. So where am I? In the center, my body, or something? So it means that the signal will be received either from the left or from the right. So it means that there is inherently again ambiguity in terms of uh, you know width of of your neck. So it means that plus minus 10 centimeters or something you shall expect for the badge compared to let's say plus minus two centimeters for the beacon and. Uh, if, for example, you walk uh, all the time one side, then it will be comparable. But if you move around, then instead of this, this may start receiving. And as soon as this start will receiving, it will be small jump of a few centimeters. And then it will be again very, very precise. So as a summary, when you don't know what to choose, choose Super Beacon. When size does matter and you clearly understand the direction, the embedded antenna, their use the mini rx when you want to track people use batch thank you very much